Hi everybody, Daniel Carfix. And uh, what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna work on my daughter's Camry. And what I got here is I am going to replace the PCV valve. And this is the code for the PCV valve or the part number, uh, in case you're wondering. But I'll double check. When I pull the old one out, I'll make sure it's the same one. Uh, we'll double check. But the reason I'm going to change the PCV valve is because last time I went to change the oil on this car, and this car has 60,000 miles, I noticed that it was about a quart and a half low, uh, or lower than it should be. So that kind of, I know every engine is supposed to burn some oil, but that uh, just raised a little bit of concern. Uh, I know it's, I don't know, I assume it's not the piston rings, it's not the pistons, because if you don't know, uh, this is a 2.5 uh, inline four engine, and they pretty much use this engine uh, in several vehicles, the RAV4, the Solara, the Matrix, got several vehicles for a long time, the Toyota has been using this engine, but from 2006 until 2013, it, uh, there were a series of engines that had defective uh, piston rings and pistons, and Toyota replaced those under warranty. And they, I think they even extended the warranty. I'm not entirely sure, and you can correct me in the comments below. But this is a 2015, so I don't believe it's the piston rings. So I'm gonna give a try uh, to see if it's the PCV valve because you know the PCV valve is often overlooked and about every car with a hundred thousand miles you have to change the the PCV valve now for what I searched the PCV valve is kind of in an interesting spot in this engine normally you'd find the PCV valve under the engine cover right uh, somewhere around here you'd find the PCV valve but I cannot see it this is not the PCV valve um, so um, and for what what I've looked what I've searched the PCV valve is going to be under the intake manifold and you have to remove the front passenger wheel to get it out so let's check the car up and uh, get this show going Okay, so I'm going to show you where the uh, PCV valve is located. So you have to remove the wheel, as I've mentioned, and you have to remove this uh, plastic cover over here. You have to remove the sensor, get it out of the way, and it's also um, tied to this bracket over here that you need to remove, so you move this out of the way so we have access to the PCV valve. And uh, here's the tubing for the PCV valve that I pulled and way up there. I don't know if you can see it, but the PCV valve is there. I'm, I'll make sure to add a circle. I'm gonna get a wrench, an extension. Let's see if I can pull that out. Just to show you guys how difficult the access can be, um, so I got a 3 8 ratchet with a 19 socket, 19 millimeter, and uh, you got to have one of those uh, uh, ratchets that swivel, right, that's flexible, because there's not a lot of room to work here. And of course, you need to thread the PCV valve by hand. Okay, so I'm just about to wrap the video. And I wanted to share with you a couple of things I learned. 
First, uh, you know, replacing this uh, PCV valve on the uh, 2AR FE engine. I think that's what it's called, the 2.5 inline 4 for Toyota. Is uh, it's really hard. Uh, it's normally something really simple. It's in the valve cover. You just you know unscrew it, rescrew it back in five minutes, and bam. Uh, it took me about an hour and a half to get this done. You have to remove the wheel. You have to remove remove the plastic cover. You have to lift your car. You have to get underneath so you have room to work. Uh, so it's really hard to get to, and I got big hands, and it's it's even harder. Uh, so the the one tip is you're gonna need a medium depth socket, a 19 millimeter socket. Let me show you. Yeah, so a 19 millimeter. Uh, so it has to fit, you know, perfectly because I had a big, a deep, uh, you know, impact socket that I used and it just goes all the way down and it's not going now for some reason. Yep, now it went. So it just goes all the way in, right? So I thought, well, I just stick a piece of a shop towel in there and it's gonna sit where I need it to sit. And I did that, but then when I went to, uh, you know, unscrew it underneath the car, there's no space for you to work here. You can't really fit the ratchet in here. There's no space. So you need a medium depth, so it's it's uh, it's more in there, so you can actually fit the ratchet here and uh, unscrew it and screw it in when you need to. Uh, second tip is you're going to need a ratchet with a joint, right? Because the way it sits, you're going to need it like this, so you can work the socket. So just keep that in mind. You're going to need a ratchet with a joint and a medium depth 19 millimeter. So let me show you the car. So that's it. So I put the wheel back on. Uh, just put everything back together. No big deal. It just goes in the way it came out. And I hope you liked this video. I hope it was useful. Uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up here. It really helps me. Consider subscribing. It's free. And if you have any comments, suggestions, make sure you leave it in the comment box below. Thank you.